Hello, friends and colleagues of the Canada Museums of Science and Technology. My name is Gary Polonsky, and I'm speaking today about our annual report. Uh, I'm going to read the first three paragraphs from my chair's remarks from the report verbatim, and then I would encourage you to read the other six paragraphs uh, by accessing the report online. From early stone tools to super colliders, science and technology have always reflected humankind's desire to innovate, overcome limitations, and answer big questions. Throughout history and even prehistory, we have sought to improve crop yields and fight pests. We have sought to soar into the skies higher and faster. We have sought cures for diseases. We have also studied the what, how, and why of everyday life. At the Canada Science and Technology Museums Corporation, we celebrate innovation. At our three museums, we look at the science and technology behind agriculture and food, aviation and space, as well as the scientific principles and technologies that make the world go round. To accomplish all of this, we work through five corporate priorities, an outstanding collection, education and exhibitions, outreach, sustainability and profitability, and a renewed and innovative infrastructure. And I repeat, the rest is online. Uh, folks, besides reading the Anna Report, I uh, ask you particularly to visit our museums, agriculture and food, aviation and space, and science and technology, which in November will be opening a brand new museum. Uh, and uh, I hope that you will fall in love with the quarter of a billion dollar commitment that you will have uh, helped to uh, invest. Uh, an amazing, fantastic team of Canadians is working around the clock, so that project will meet its four declared aims, which are on time, on budget, to rave reviews, and of national import. The intent is for our museums to be a major showcase, a major source of inspiration for all Canadians in the cause of innovation, which we all know is going to frame our world uh, for our lives and, and well beyond. It will be possible for your kids to sit at their kitchen table and access our collection through apps as part of their homework assignment or just because they're curious and it's just part of the wonderful new world uh, that is before all of us. So I'm going to close by thanking everyone, the Prime Minister, Minister Jolie, our heritage partners, our corporate partners, members, volunteers, our remarkable colleagues, and all of Canada, because it truly takes a country to build a national museum, let alone three of them. 